for integrators and end users even, just because you buy a robot that's that's marketed or sold as a compliant or a safe robot, doesn't mean that the application is compliant or is safe. How it's integrated is unique to every single deployment and understanding the tasks, the, the stage gates that are required along the way to make sure that you check all the boxes, that you do all the things to make sure that your unique one-of-a-kind application is actually safe for your employees or your customers' employees that are going to be working on and around that robot system. Uh, one of the misnomers that we still have 10, 15 years later, Collaborative Robot is not safe, right? It has safety features that can be deployed in Collaborative Robot applications to reduce the risk to an acceptable level. But just because you bought a collaborative robot and plugged it in and turned it on doesn't mean that the application is safe. It just means that robot has some additional features that can be utilized in unique ways to further reduce the risk. But you still have to do a risk assessment. You still have to apply safeguarding. And some of the features of those unique robots can be used as part of the risk reduction measures, but they're not in and of themselves sufficient in almost every case I've ever seen to reduce the risk to a level that's acceptable. Even two systems side by side doing the same thing are gonna be unique. Working around floor plan and building columns and, and aisleways, like, no matter how identical, even you could have you could have sequential serial numbers, identical model numbers, and still have different systems because it's got a different, slightly different tooling, slightly different layout, something, something's unique about every single application that has to be accounted for and the integrator is the person who has to do that to make sure that that specific deployment is safe for how it's intended to be used.